for our next uh, presentation, uh, again from the industry perspective, and this is more from the medical technology perspective, may I call on stage Mr. Praveen Sebastian, Assistant General Manager, India Sales and Marketing from Murata Vios. Can we have Praveen? Good afternoon, Konnichiwa. You must be wondering what am I using, uh, second word, Konnichiwa. We are a joint venture company between Vios, which is an Indian born innovator, and 121 billion US dollar company is Murata. So we are in combination connecting the dots, what we have discussed right from the morning in terms of technology, how do we do it in progression for the remote sensing of the patients. So connecting the dots, what we have spoken right from the delegates who have spoken in the morning, we do it into a product, which is an innovation of its own. So having said that, I thank APEC Network for giving us this opportunity to uh, showcase this particular session. So it takes you to the implementation of the technology for the healthcare use virtually, which is the need of the hour. So coming to uh, our problem statement, as we have seen in the recent past of two years, we have the fundamental problem of lack of healthcare facilities in the remote locations. We heard the earlier panel discussing about the, cannot, the megalia cannot be reached but then that is one of the areas that we have a problem. The second one, the sick per, per people in isolations, unable to travel to access quality healthcare is the second biggest problem. The third one is the lack of equipment in our PHCs, that is the primary healthcare centers and the secondary healthcare centers. And how do we connect with the tertiary healthcare centers? And this will ensure the quality healthcare is not compromised due to the geographical constraints. And how do we do that as a solution is what Morata Vios as a solution provider of monitoring the system. So if you look at, there are the first part is the sensor, which is the key of which is being put onto the patient anywhere. Right now, my colleague standing here, he's put it on here in Bombay. And my colleague, another colleague in Delhi is putting it on and Bangalore. You want to check, you, we can have it on a CSM. So having said that, coming back to this, sensors is what patient ridden anywhere in ro remote locations, which is parallel to the BSM. BSM is a bedside monitoring system, which is near to the patient, which is again parallel to a server of a hospital and which in turn, goes into a central monitoring system where the nurses, as we heard, the nurses versus patients and the doctors versus the patient ratio is higher. So the CSM provides connecting those patients in the wards. If there are 20 patients, it connects to a central monitoring system at the nurse's station. During the intervention, there will be alarm. If there is any vitals going off, she can attend to the patient seeking. Not only that, extending to that, the monitoring services goes into the mobile system of the clinician, who or she, he or she being at their convenience can attend to the patient virtually and intervene and get them resuscitated to a original position. So how do we do that as customized to all in any hospitals? It can also be a home monitoring system where we have seen the scenario where we had lack of beds available during the pandemic. This can help in those things and they deploy anywhere across the care communion. We also see the makeshift uh, tents coming up with uh, caring of patients, but you will see the ratio again, doctors versus nurses. This will be another point where as of now, we have the use case in terms of those where we have the, sh the showdown, step-down wards 
as in the NICU, the bed, beds are totally compact. You need not have the patient every time. That is where the reducing cost happens. Uh, you can to take the patient to the next level of step down where it is not critical. And then you also have the general ward monitoring and the emergency rooms, including the ambulances where you take the patient right from the time of emergency, coming within the window period, reaching the emergency rooms. This can also help connect it, all the vitals right from the EMT connecting the sensor to the patient, uh, the emergency doctor or the nurse can validate before the patient coming into the ER rooms. And again, you also have a post-acute care also, which is another area. Uh, and also, there are disease managements which can be done right from home, like the COPD cases, uh, use case, I'm just getting into it so that it can be made uh, a total approach in the total healthcare. So having seen the backdrop of what the problem and what the solution, next is what is the roadmap of wireless monitoring system? It can give a premium patient experience with no wires, it's a wireless. As I've seen the adapter itself, chest adapter itself is only lead, which again is parallel to the Wi-Fi system and it is comfortable for the patients. And this is the next step of the hospital of the future. And reducing the total cost of ownership, there is a pay as you go is no more an upfront investment, meaning there is no capital investment needed for monitoring a patient, either for the hospital and also for the patient, it can be a, a good formula, a win-win situation. And it's also flexible, as I said, it can be deployed anywhere across the care continuum. And it, it has a smart data transfer, as been uh, our earlier industry speaker on Dell Technologies, uh, speaking about data transfers, we can do it through a proprietary algorithm and artificial intelligence at reduced costs. So adding to that, it is a future proof in terms of one time it's bought, even the algorithm as well as the sensors can also be uh, upgraded with no cost and warranty and support is also being given. And next point when it comes nurses as well as the doctors at the user end. And, and as we said in the panel discussion, that is one of the areas of concern. So we as not only a product it seller, it is a continuous monitoring system and data transfer happens 24 by seven. And it also can be stored within uh, the device for 15 days where the patients uh, can uh, get the benefit of the records. E the, electro, the uh, medical records. And with the greater convenience for doctors and nurses using this technology, you cannot, you can also withstand them from the brain drain happening in our country at the moment. As such, we have the ratio of doctors and nurses very less, but anyone who is there, they want to go offshore. And so this can be enabling the hospitals to make use of and getting those good talents retained. So what is the next, the future of patient monitoring system as a service is going to be the future of our healthcare using internet of things, IOT. It's uh, our Dell technologies have already projected what is IOT. So we are using these dots, connecting it to making it as to tell the nurse the trend of a patient is displaying on the vitals as well as for the clinician to take a proactive action rather than a reactive action. So preventive healthcare also was one of the panel discussion which was happening. So that is all about the robot of wise monitoring system. I will take you through a video clip in which you will be able to see the overview of wise monitoring system. Let's see how ourselves, the wires is trying to solve this problem. Vios Monitoring System 
A US FDA cleared medical device that has proven to be highly efficient in monitoring multiple parameters of patient care. Powered by IoT based technology, VIOS monitoring solution called VMS in short enables health caregivers to continuously monitor ECG, HR, SpO2 and pulse, RR, posture and automatic collection of BP. VMS comes with three major components chest sensor, BSM, and CSM. How does VIOS monitoring system work? The VMS chest sensor is placed on the left side of the patient below the clavicle bone and paired with the bedside monitor BSM via Bluetooth. The vitals start displaying on the BSM. Using the hospital's Wi-Fi, this data is sent to the hospital's servers or cloud. From there, it can be transmitted to any monitor on the nursing station or the clinician's smartphone. There are different use cases wherein VMS finds its applications. Ambulances, post-op surgical wards, HDU, general ward, home hospital, inter- and intra-hospital e-monitoring, rehab centers, and palliative care centers. Other applications are CROs and drug trial centers. In conclusion, VMS makes continuous monitoring of vitals simple. To know more or to request a demo, visit us at www.biosmedical.com or call us at As I said, we are available here with connecting at two, three cities. You are free to walk in and we can have a one-to-one -one discussion. Thank you very much for this presentation to be given to us as a platform. And Arigato gozaimasu. It's in Japanese. Thank you.